Today in South Africa, African Union-led talks kicked off to address the conflict in northern Ethiopia. We commend those. We commend South Africa for hosting the talks and stand ready to support African Union High Representative Oba Sanjo and EAU panel members, former South African Deputy Labu Guka and former Kenyan President Kenyatta, in facilitating in facilitating an agreement. As President Biden told the UN General Assembly last month, a peace process is needed to end the fighting in Ethiopia and restore security for all its people. The United States has been intensely involved diplomatically in supporting the launch of this, of this mediation effort. Our special envoy for the Horn of Africa, Ambassador Mike Hammer, has been in the region the past several weeks and will be participating as well. After nearly two years of conflict, the crisis in northern Ethiopia is one of the worst humanitarian crises in the world. With humanitarian access largely blocked since August, emergency nutrition and, and health supplies have completely run out in many areas and severely malnourished populations, particularly children under five, will start dying at alarming rates without immediate additional supplies. There is no military solution to this conflict. We call on the government of Ethiopia and the Tig Tigrayan authorities to engage seriously in the AU-led talks to achieve an immediate cessation of hostilities, unhindered delivery of humanitarian assistance to all Ethiopians in need, prevention of further human rights abuses and atrocities, and Eritrea's withdrawal from northern Ethiopia. The United States urges the parties to resolve their differences through dialogue and prevent further human rights abuses. And as we have made clear directly to the relevant parties in recent days, those who commit atrocities will be held accountable.